Hello, my super Scorpio, and welcome to your weekly energy reading. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, if you haven't had a chance, please do check out your moon reading, love reading, and abundance reading up on the chart channel, rather, now. The abundance reading is more career and finance oriented. However, if you do enjoy this reading or any of the others, please do like, subscribe, share, and do hit that notification bell. It's helpful for my channel. It helps me grow. It helps get to the other lovely Scorpios, but also you don't want to miss your upcoming June reading. So without further ado, let's get started. We don't do reversals on the weekly readings, but we do on all of the monthly readings, bonus readings, love, abundance, etc., etc. So let's go ahead and see what we're looking at right now. All right, so we have Queen of Pentacles. So I am feeling like you're feeling in a stronger position, okay? So right now I feel like financially you're feeling a little bit stronger than you have potentially for a while. So perhaps maybe you've gotten a new job, maybe a raise at the job, uh, maybe your annual type of um, raise, bonus, promotion situation has come through. Uh, maybe your tax return came in, something of that nature. But I do feel like you are feeling a little bit more um, in a stable, comfortable type of position than maybe you have felt for some time, which is a lovely position certainly to be in, especially coming up on the summer months when you may want to be taking a holiday or something of that nature with family, spending some time out doing some fun activities, those kinds of things. But I am definitely seeing that this is feeling like your energy and I do feel like you are feeling in a more comfortable place. And for some of you too, um, it is a feeling where, you know, not only are you feeling, you know, financially more secure, but just in general with that queenly feeling and vibe. So for some of you, maybe you've gotten engaged or moved in with somebody or moved your relationship to a higher level. And it's not only benefited you in a, um, you know, financial sense, of course, you know, if you're just paying one bill and you've got a second income now, um, you know, you've moved in together or something like that where you're sharing sharing debts but now have multiple sources of, of income. So you, you know, kind of a little bit more um, affluent in that manner or regard. Um, but also, you know, just overall, you're feeling a little bit more secure and stable and in charge, a little bit more sovereign in that regard. So I do feel like for many of you, uh, take it as it resonates, but I do feel like you have come into your stride as it were. So um, again, whether it's solely a sense of financial stride for you or whether it's a combination feeling of uh, security and stability and strength because maybe it's uh, you know the culmination of, of everything where you know you've joined up sources and forces with someone um, you know that's made you feel stronger better more powerful and also then helped your finances I do feel like you are on a uh, good path here and here we have the six of cups so this could be the reason for some of you perhaps you are um, you know, getting together with somebody who is from your past and old, you know, uh, bygones <laughs> from bygone days that you knew, uh, you know, someone from your past has come around and maybe that is who you have kind of um, gotten, you know, in yourself in, con you know, conjunction with and that has helped with your finances and stabilized you, made you feel stronger and better. So this could be, and it doesn't necessarily even have to be a relationship, right? Um, or, you know, a rom an, you know, romantic, let's put it that way, relationship. This could be like a best friend that you had when you were younger that you haven't seen in a while, but you kind of, you know, got back together, got back in contact, and you guys have decided to become roommates and really found support, a support system with this person, um, you know, and so while, you know, it's may not be the most romantic situation, um, you know, this could be a, you know, a really good, good friend type situation that, is become something that's helped you both financially. It's helped you feel more stable because you feel like you have a support system, a support network. So for some of you, that may very well be the case. For others of you, you know, that are, this is simply a situation of finance where maybe you haven't got someone, significant other, that type of situation. You are just feeling your um, economic stride getting better because maybe you did get a raise, a bonus, cash injection, something like that. Um, you know, I do feel like because you're putting out those queenly vibes, um, you know, you are tending to draw more attention and maybe somebody who is from your past, maybe somebody you've known for quite a while, could be somebody even that you've worked with in the past and now, you know, they're noticing you more because you're on a different 
uh, vibration, right? You're putting out more of that vibe that you are strong and, you know, very self-assured and those kinds of feelings that maybe, um, you know, once you put that level out, people see that, you know, you feel better, you look better, you're stronger. So that kind of draws in these people and maybe some of the people from your past are kind of coming around, you're around them more, but I do definitely see someone from the past coming in. Um, could be a very romantic sense for some of you. Um, and for some of you, if this is somebody that you're getting engaged to, married to, moving in with, that's helping with this whole situation, it could be someone who, if this resonates with you, it could be somebody who you have known for many, many years. Could have been your high school sweetheart and you have reconnected and that's what's caused all this. So, you know, take this as it resonates. But again, um, you know, I do see definitely somebody from your past playing an integral role in this. Um, and then we have your Ace of Cups here. So I'm feeling this Ace of Cups energy. It's absolutely overflowing, you know, and I do feel like this is also a culmination um, of your energies combined, right? So I feel like this is like your combination of energies combined. So if this is a person, you know, from your past, whether this is what has driven you to this queenly feeling, gender neutral, of course, or whether they are, you know, just in addition to, I do feel like together, you know, you are very much harnessing and putting out those Ace of um, Cups vibes. So you guys are, you know, really able to, you know, really get along with one another, put out those energy of, you know, togetherness and, and you know, fun and drawing people in, very charismatic, uh, center of attention group type things. Um, you know, and one of you may not even normally be that way. You know, you could be the one that's normally a wallflower and the other one's drawing that out of you a little bit more um, excitement and enthusiasm and fun um, or vice versa. Maybe you're the one drawing it out of this person, you know, uh, old, old flame, old friend, old whatever. Um, but again, I do feel like this is a good combination of your energies that you're able to complement one another in a very, very positive way that's helping you to really kind of expand your circle, expand your connections, um, you know, all that kind of stuff that's really helping you to feel like you're your best self. You've got surrounding yourself with more friends, more uh, people that you can enjoy spending your time with, family, friends, uh, you know, work, colleagues, all kinds of things. But I really feel like you're putting that vibe out there where you're really just, uh, you know, that your charisma, your charm, all of your skills and talents, everything is really coming out. So whoever this person is, either you're drawing their talents really out of you, uh, out of them, they're drawing them really out of you, or both of you are mutually really able to get the best out of each other. So whether it's a love connection or just a really good friend, um, you know, or maybe it's a friend that could become a love connection, um, you know, I do think that you guys are really well suited to really draw the best out of each other. So let's see what we have here in the challenge section now. There's always a challenge, it seems like. So let's see what your challenge card is. Hopefully it's just something minimal that is easily overcome, of course. But let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. So I think with that, again, it's just something where, you know, I think for for most intents and purposes, this is going to be one of two things for some of you. The, the first gut instinct that I get from some of you is that, you know, this is um, perhaps a taboo, okay, because of this being an, a, a person from your past. This could be a really good friend of the family, maybe a sibling's best friend, something like that, that maybe you really haven't been around a lot um, in your adult life, but now you kind of got back together with them or you met them, met up with them at a, you know, a family gathering or something like that. They just happened to be there and you kind of reconnected. And so it's kind of causing your family some like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What happens if you guys break up? What happens if this doesn't work out? What happens if you guys are, you know, trying to hang out together too much and then you know or your specific family member has a problem with it like I don't really like you dating my brother or my sister or what you know um, so I kind of have that vibe for some of you that that could be a problem if this is a close friend or family that somebody in your friend or family unit may have an issue with it and it could solely be a jealousy issue too that they may just be jealous that this person is getting all of your time right if you are really close to your family, if you're really close to your siblings, if you're really close to, you know, your best friends that you are basically family with, 
this person taking all of your time and really being the one that you're spending all your time with to really grow and grow your circle and all that. There may be people who feel lost in that shuffle. And so they're kind of like, you know, not really thrilled about this, right? There's always those friends who are like, wow, I feel like I'm left out, you know, or, oh, such and such got a, you know, a new person. And as soon as they do that, we no longer cease to, you know, we cease to exist or whatever. And that's not really the case, but maybe they are feeling that way. So it's their perception and perception can be reality for people. You know, if that's how they feel, that's how they feel. So they may cause some issues. They may try to, you know, throw some salt in your <laughs> in your game as it were they may say some bad things about the person or say hey don't you know that such and such or they may try to hook this person up with somebody else or you know whatever it may be or try to distract you from them um, in any way or tell you bad things about them that may or may not be true those kinds of things I would just watch out for that um, the other thing being that this person may have different interests in you than you do in them okay so this person's vibe may be very much end goal huge family with you right like that's their end goal is like marriage love kids the world right and you're kind of over here on the I'm loving this kind of just no strings attached fun happy joyful you know relationship maybe even roommate situation whatever hangout situation where we really you know our vibes are great together we really you know complement each other in a way that is amazing you know we pull out each other's strengths we you know complement each other in our friend circles and all of this and that we're really good for each other financially emotionally you know uh spiritually mentally all of these things but you don't see it in a romantic sense and they do, which could cause, as we all know, <laughs> some seriously catastrophic uh, issues down the road should that come up where they become in a love situation and you are still in the friend zone. So um, just be careful if that's the vibe you start to get and you may very well feel the vibe uh, before it even comes to light or, you know, is is straight out said to your face. So just keep that in mind. But we've got this psychic deck here. So let's see what the Queen of Pentacles uh, psychic enlightenment we can get for you might be here and go from there. So let's see. All right. We've got temptation. Okay. And again, I do feel like, you know, this is something where you are really doing um, really very well. And I think that because you are doing well and you are resonating that, you know, queenly energy, again, gender neutral, but you are kind of stable, stable in everything. So you're feeling better. You're looking better. You're doing better. All of these things are on a higher vibrational level. You know, you're throwing out that kind of temptation vibe, right? And I feel like this is what's causing these people to be pulled in. And maybe you don't even realize you're doing it, right? You're just like, I'm living my happy life right now. I'm living my best life. I'm being, I'm better than I was a year ago today. I feel better than I did a year ago today. Whatever. That's kind of all you're feeling. Like maybe I'm making a little bit more money than I was a year ago. I'm not as stressed as I was a year ago. Something of that nature. That's kind of all you're seeing. But you're not realizing that you're putting out this very tempting vibe for people. And it's drawing them in. And maybe they're reading it in a way that's very tempting. Um, that they find you to be irresistible um, in a way, and maybe you don't really even realize you're doing that, right? You don't realize that. You're just being happy, but because you are exuding this confidence, exuding this higher vibrational level and, you know, confidence and self-esteem and, you know, all of that kind of swagger, if you will, you know, you are ultimately kind of a, a tempting object uh, in a kind of, that sounds horrible. That's not necessarily what I mean, but um, you get it, right? You're a tempting person um, for someone to want to uh, pursue, let's say that. Um, but they're kind of like, wow, I'm really interested in that person, their vibe, their, you know, everything they have. Um, so, you know, that's the thing. And, and it's kind of like, that can be a, a blessing or a curse, depending on what you're looking for, right? So um, let's see what we've got here from the uh, moon deck on the uh, six of cups and the 10 of cups and see if this gives you any enlightenment on that. But I do feel like that by being in this position where you do feel better, look better, stronger, more stable, all of those great things, 
that you are putting out a temptational vibe, you may not even realize you're doing. You're like, what in the world is going on? Why are people so interested in me now? You know, I'm just the same person, but you're really not, right? You may only see slight differences because you live in your body every day, but somebody who may not have seen you for years, because remember, this is a person from your past, right? May not have seen you in years. All of a sudden, you're like a whole new person to them. You're a stronger, better, completely different version of yourself, right? So assessing. And again, I think this is part where this is like assessing what you need, what you want, how you feel about things. And this is very key, I believe, in this situation because, again, I do feel like there are parts that you don't realize, that you don't realize maybe you are tempting to people uh, and things because, again, it's kind of like when you're changing physically, you may not notice it in the mirror, whereas people who don't see you every day, they see you once every two or three months, they may be like, wow, you've lost a lot of weight or, you know, wow, your hair's grown or whatever, these not notices um things that they notice that you don't notice because you see yourself every day. So again, you don't notice maybe all of these growth and, you know, amazing, you know, things that have happened to you or elevations you've made, but they do, right? <laughs> so you really need to assess number one, kind of where you are in life in general, like, wow, I'm, I really am on a higher vibrational level, accept that. And then two, you need to assess how you want to go about that because you need to realize that some of these people are seeing you in a totally different light and how do you want to handle that? Because for some people, this may be something where, again, they can't help their temptation to you. So, you know, how do you want to handle it? Are these people that you want to cut off immediately because you don't want to give any false hope? Um, you know, even when you didn't realize you were doing it, again, that's all part of your assessing. You know, am I giving them false hope when I don't mean to do it because we're hanging out nonstop because we're you know, living together, but I thought we were just friends cohabitating to save some bucks, right? I thought we were just having a good time hanging out all the time. You know, we seem to finish each other's sentences and enjoy each other and all this. I had no idea that there was something more there. But assessing is really kind of looking at it from all different angles, right? Because really you need to do that before someone could possibly get hurt if they are looking at things from a completely different viewpoint. So assessing for you is critical, as my kids would say, mom, that's crit, okay? Like, totally crit. Uh, I guess that's like a kill in a PlayStation game or something. Like, that's a crit hit or something. I don't know. But anyways, it's critical, okay? <laughs> um, and so down here, we have the um, angel deck. And this is going to go on your Ace of Cups. Okay, so we have Archangel Uriel. And uh, let's see. So... Uriel is, let's see, he's enlightenment and knowledge. So again, <laughs> you I don't think you realize how much you're putting this out. I don't think you realize how much your vibes together are flowing over. I don't think you realize how much you really are vibing with this person, how much charismatic vibes and just juju or whatever you want to call it you're putting out there. I honestly don't believe that you are trying to be, you know, misleading. I don't think you're trying to be, you know, some sort of like sexual beast out there on the take. Uh, anything like that in any way, shape or form. I think you are just like being your solid, stable, happy self. And it is very attractive, okay, to people. But Archangel Uriel is going to try to help with your assessing by giving you the knowledge that you need to view yourself uh, from an enlightened angle, okay, to try to take a look at it from all different views, not just your own, from what might this look like if I was completely on the other side of this coin? Would I feel like maybe there was more there, you know, but also it might be something where, you know, maybe there's more to it than what you're thinking, uh, you know, maybe you need to examine it in a way that's like, hey, you know what, maybe I should give this person a chance and I'm not, Maybe because I'm so just set in my ways, I've been doing the same thing for so long, maybe this person really is good for me. Maybe there's a reason that we draw the best out of each other. Maybe there's a reason we hit it off so well. Maybe there's a reason I'm so uh, happy, you know, fulfilled, complete when I'm with them. Maybe there is more than a friend zone out there. So part of the enlightenment, knowledge, learning process about yourself is to you know, kind of assess whether or not maybe there is a chance that you may also be tempted to 
uh, pursue more with this person when all said and done in the long run. But again, this is going to take assessing and some, you know, internal knowledge, right? Some thinking, deep thoughts about yourself, deep thoughts by Jack Handy. If you ever watched Saturday Night Live, that was a funny skit. But anyway, um, so, you know, this might be one of those things that, you know, it could possibly play out to be a lot more than you think. But at the very least, if it is going to be um, a successful long-term friendship, you are going to have to assess, decide that, and then address it before it gets to a point where uh, it's a point of no return, you know, where being friends is no longer an option because this person has, you know, kind of lost that ability to just be friends with you, if you get my gist. So um, anyway, hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff. And I hope to see you back for your June readings. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bye.